a male in his 50s presents with acute breathlessness and a few week history of a productive cough. What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. Here we have an AP chest x-ray. Now did you spot the right sided pneumothorax? In a pneumothorax, gas is introduced into the pleural space between the visceral and parietal pleura. On a chest x-ray, the pneumothorax will appear more lucent than normal lung with two key features. Number one, a lack of lung markings. And number two, you will see the more interior visceral pleural layer as a thin white pleural line. This should normally parallel the chest wall. Most commonly, you'll see this at the apex like you can here, whilst in this case, we also have a component at the right lung base. When you're dealing with a pneumothorax, you need to assess for mediastinal shift, as this can mean you're dealing with a tension pneumothorax. So look at the trachea and the mediastinum as a whole, and in this case, we're okay. Now, it's not just the pneumothorax. The underlying lung here is abnormal. We can see an opacity here in the right mid-zone, but also look carefully behind the hilum and we can see a second opacity. But what could these represent? Although there is a wider differential, the more common causes we need to consider are of infective consolidation and malignancy, either a primary lung cancer or metastases. A chest drain was inserted, but the patient's breathlessness didn't improve. Let's have a look at the CT scan. Here is the chest drain, and we can see it lies within the chest wall and not within the pleural space. So no surprise, the pneumothorax is still there. Scroll through, and we can see the patient has significant emphysema and a small right pleural effusion, while we can see the two opacities we saw on chest x-ray, one in the apical right lower lobe. This accounts for the lesion we can see behind the hilum. And the second one is here within the right upper lobe. If we look at the right upper lobe lesion in more detail, we can see small spicules arising from it. This means we can say the lesion is spiculated, which increases the chance that this is primary lung cancer. Now the chest drain was replaced with good resolution of the pneumothorax, and this was subsequently removed. Although the inflammatory markers were up, given the appearance of both opacities, a PET-CT was performed. This showed FDG avidity within both areas, so at this point we can't rule out that at least one of these lesions was malignant. The patient returned for a follow-up CT six weeks later, and although there is still a small pleural effusion, we can see both opacities have almost completely resolved, meaning these were never malignant. So one of the learning points here is that in patients with significant emphysema, inflammatory lesions can look speculated, and you literally need to clinically correlate. If there are signs of pneumonia, a follow-up CT may be a good idea. And on chest x-ray, it's really important to spot the signs of pneumothorax and look for tension.